What's going on, everyone? I might sound a little different because I finally got a lapel mic, so hopefully it's a little more clear and the audio is a little more better. I'll be fiddling around with it every once in a while to try to make it sound better and stuff. Uh, but today, it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. And today we got our final holiday film review. So, yeah. And that's Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I know this is more of like a Thanksgiving movie, but uh, I didn't know that before I watched it. And I watched it last night. and yeah, so we're going to review it today. It was released, by, released November 25th, 1987, and it was directed by John Hughes, who has also directed other films like Curly Sue, Uncle Buck, She's Having a Baby, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, obviously. And um, it had a budget of $15 million, and it made over $49.5 million. So it basically broke even. After... Uh, marketing costs and everything like that so this is a comedy from the 80s and uh yeah it actually uh still holds up for the most part for what it is it's um it stars steve martin and i want to say john candy but i don't know if that's actually who it is but uh yeah so um yeah so basically steve martin is on a trip and he's trying to get home in time for thanksgiving and he ends up miss there's plane delays and everything like that and he ends up uh getting stuck traveling with this one other guy because uh they keep running into bad luck so it's like he goes on a plane and it gets canceled he goes on a train and something happens then they go in a taxi and something else happens and it's just constant um problems and you really get to know these characters as they go oh the polar opposites they don't get along and stuff and that's like a pushing shoving shoving match basically throughout the whole film and uh it's a uh, pretty amusing because a lot of road trip movies took especially the modern ones took a lot from this film and you could see it uh where basically john hughes does his normal um normal humble uh actual real life and make it feel realistic in it but with like injecting certain little quirky parts to it and stuff to make it all the more real and interesting so um yeah it's a pretty good movie for what it is it's a lot of fun some of the jokes are pretty um uh lowbrow but overall i thought it was entertaining and delightful <laughs> and uh yeah but uh i didn't think it was too outstanding or anything like that there's nothing that made me like drop on the floor laughing or anything it was just straight um good little chuckles here and there and uh it's a feel-good movie because especially at the end when they get there and you realize like what the actual truth is what this other guy that's traveling around with steve martin's character and uh all the tension and stuff that was with it before you kind of feel bad and uh yeah, it makes you feel really good inside at the end. So it's one of those good, feel good comedies with uh, a good, strong message and that. And it's a feel good road movie. So overall, I thought this film was fun and entertaining in that. Uh, but it didn't give me the whole ball on the floor and laugh until my ribs hurt and stuff. It was still a good, entertaining film, though. So overall, I'm going to give Planes, Trains, and Automobiles automobiles a three out of five it's good popcorn like fun so yeah it's definitely good for the holidays whether it's christmas or thanksgiving and overall it's a fun film in general so and it's good for the whole family so check it out this film inspired a lot of films like due date and things like that um films of that nature so yeah it's pretty cool to check it out well there's a trailer link down below or if i or if i can find the whole film i'll link it down below too um but also make sure you check out my instagram that's linked down below that's where i always post clips of films and review the future on my story you should have the film title and hashtag and subgenre film and a hashtag so you're aware of it and also make sure you um check out my letterbox at Derek P reviews that's where i post my first star rating right after watching the film so follow me on those two platforms to stay in loop with this channel like this video share it's more people aware of it comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any and also if you have any other films or film franchise in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future comment those down below i'll try my eyes to get to them as soon as i can and if i can find them and uh don't forget to subscribe hopefully find something weird 
weird and obscure and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together. It, or so you my opinions on popular films that have come out, classic films, somewhat like this, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to go back to the norm uh, after this. It's all the holiday movies reviews done. Um, I got a couple. I got three more days of Aftershock reviews to <laughs> upload before the end of the year. And we're going to close off the year with some standard action, horror, and stuff like that. But uh, starting on Boxing Day tomorrow, which will be World War Z. Or World War Z, technically, for us Canadians. But, yeah. That's the review for tomorrow, so tune in for that. And uh, But until the next one, be kind and humble to everyone. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, make sure you show love to the strangers that you meet in your travels as well. All right? Until the next one, cheers. And Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.